Hello and thank you for staying with us. This is Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories. My name is Elsie Godwin, and I have my amazing co-anchors with me, Benny Ak and Nimide Kombi. What's up, hey guys. Up, Benny. Where is your mask? I, I took it off. I don't understand. The virus has gone. No, I'm going to put it on after now. I, mean, oh. I, I couldn't just wear it all through all day. Mm. Yeah, so I just want to breathe it. <laughs> <laughs> If you shall be careful. <laughs> okay, so um, still an update on coronavirus. I'm tired of talking about this thing. But yeah, they refused to invest in hospitals because they could fly abroad to get treatments for themselves. Now, countries' borders um, closed. Karma, take the wheel. Hmm. And this is from Rema. Rema. Hmm. You know, it's not that they don't know what the problem is. I've often said that. I mean, the government know what the solution is. They know what the problem is, and they know what the solution is. But mm. they will not provide a so solution. So why do you think um, they don't want to provide? Because solution? the bottlenecks everywhere. The saboteurs in every sector of the economy. Who are these saboteurs? I think people. Are not, even not, not even because they have alternatives. This is it. I mean, they, they profit from the ruins. They profit from the, the disruptions. Disorder, yeah. They profit from it, and so. Make me understand why we supply light to neighboring Chad and Benin and, and other people here, and then we still don't enjoy power supply like we should because the generators have to sell, the mm. big plants have to sell. Mm. Don't you I still get think it? based I on mean, this health <coughs> care issue is because they have alternatives. Because I think if they yeah, did yeah, not, they will have at no, least no, no, one no, no, ultra no, modern the alternative. Do you understand? Is the alternative is still a product of corruption. Mm. All right, many people have argued that that the corporations of many nations of the world is a corruption of our country. That many nations, their, their industries are running based on the corruption from here that it took, they invested in other countries, you know. And so you don't even want to know, know the amount of how much this is, how many countries are living large based on the corruption from this space it took to those other countries. Mm. You know, so if they fix the problem, um, the, the disparity, the line between the poor and the rich will be, will, will, will be bridged. And so there's, there always got to be that line. And so the very minute well, no, the there's line a solution to it, well, yeah, this is just one, one strain of virus, you know. So for them, it is, that line has always got to be so drawn. You know, there's got to be the, the, the difference between who's rich and who's poor. Are and, you talking um, about Nigerians? Yeah, I'm talking about yeah, Nigerians. Nigerians. Okay. Yeah, I'm talking about Nigerians. No, no, the coronavirus, you know, it's, 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 I, I politics think playing and it's, power yeah. tossing. It, it it's a world it, it, thing, it's, right? It, it, yeah, it, it's, it's in our very but fabric. At least in one country, country it, it. they do saying. stuff. You know, people even say that the United States is actually a very, very corrupt state. But the difference between the United States of America and Nigeria is that they are corrupt, though, but they do things. They are accountable you know, to their you know, people. In America, to beat the system when it comes to corruption, you have to be really, really smart and intelligent. Here in Nigeria, you don't necessarily have to be. You know, we see what they do. They collect the money and tell you they want to do this project. We go there where the project is supposed to be done. <laughs> where, okay, where was the project? The money has been expended. I mean, and you can't say anything. Nobody's and arrested. Still, nothing that's is it. happening. And, and even if they, when they arrest you, you still get, have the guts to get a lawyer. And they start fighting. Should it. Start or even and and while you're fighting, it, people have to keep quiet. Because, you know what goes on. So before that, um, what's it called? Before the the, the, the contract is being given, yeah. the person that's giving you the contract has that share. The yes. person that's taking you to the person that's signing it has a share. Oh, yeah. The secretary of the person that is taking you ha, to the man. You know, so if you are dragging level. me, I'm dragging all of you, no, and nice. everybody's going saying. down. So there's a whole system who? of corruption. So I went to look at um, what is the budget, like what was our budget for the healthcare system, yeah. and apparently there were a lot of people that were crying out that the budget. The 2020 budget, what they all allocated for the healthcare was very, very small because they allocated a huge amount of the budget to defense, um, war, the army, and everything, yeah. while to the healthcare system, and building education, hospitals, I think education paying, sector, I think had paying least, people the in the Ministry of, of Health. Budget. There was, yeah. there was, it was not as much as that. So now we are actually seeing the brunt of all of this. The fact that we've been neglecting the healthcare sector for a huge, you know, for a huge amount of time, and this is not. Um, I don't want people to think that this is like a boary thing. This is a that's been going on for years. Buari was in that years too, so he can be a bo <laughs> he can be the yeah. bronze because <laughs> he was, was, was there and he's there the now. You know, so so the healthcare, the, the the fact that they've neglected the healthcare for so long is finally coming to actually bite us. You know, it is now like very very evident in our faces. And the thing that a lot of people are grateful for is it's not just affecting with the masses because before it was just affecting with the masses. A lot of people used to say you are just one health problem away from being totally, like if you are a rich person normally, you are just one health problem away from being totally penniless in this country. Because the pursuit for good health care is very expensive in Nigeria. It's expensive in other countries too, but in Nigeria it is 
way more expensive. So now everybody is stuck in this system, this already rotten, corrupt system, and nobody can run. They were the ones who created the system, and now they cannot even run away from it. They don't have any alternatives. So a lot of people are glad that this is not something that is affecting just the poor masses. It's affecting everybody, and nobody can run away from it. Okay, away from coronavirus. Recross and 50 Cent's legal battle has been postponed until next month. The music mogul was originally quoted to appear in a statement on March 25, but due to ongoing coronavirus pandemic, that date has been pushed back. Mm. I think everything is just um, on Affected. board. Yeah. Everything, everything. And... Um, and I'm, I'm hoping in the course of whatever is going on underneath before the, all of this blows over that recross and 50 cent can come to, you know, a reasonable... It's enable, interesting that this fight you know, is about posting someone to mm, video. Yeah. You know, so it's 50 it's cent is saying that he you know, lost man. that case because his team did not do did a good not, job. Yeah. Um, they did not... Um, add to the evidence that Recross actually the posted, posted the video, video first, and which is why he had to pay $7 million or so, it's, and trust 50 Cent, he's not going he's to, not let, going to go. let it 50 go. 50 Cent is a king of pettiness. He's, he's as petty as that, you know, but I'm just hoping, these are two grown men. I mean, In the have, music industry. You know, I don't, I don't, think, really, I don't think this is a personal uh, thing for 50. This is business uh, and it's legal. That, That's, well, it's not yes, personal for but him. But at the end of the day, I mean, should it even have come up in the first place? What should it have come you know, up? The, the, the video. Ah, uh, well, he took uh, it from somewhere, which is what he's trying to establish. Yeah. You know, uh, the whole story is actually just one kind, because he posted the video, who did not post the video. The lady alleged that it was 50 cents. The you know, he also first, and he's trying yeah, to say he also he's not the her. one. Yeah. Uh, and now Recross is getting into the mix, and the whole story is just very, very And shitty. Recross has also been dodging being a subpoenaed. Yeah. <laughs> right, this is the time he, they've gotten him. He doesn't, and, yeah, yeah. But and I'm, now he right. cannot, <laughs> he, coronavirus has They are considering <laughs> doing a, a, a video um, session, but I don't think any judge is going to be interested he's in that right now. But we'll see yeah. how this plays out. I think for me, it's just funny how a lot of things have just paused. A lot of things just on that yeah. day. I also think that yeah. this is going to help a lot of um, 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 employers understand um, the importance and the power of virtual meetings and virtual yes. working. So when you tell them I'm working from home, it looks like you know, it looks like you're going yeah, to take their soul away. away yeah. if, if it's okay, can I can I read a tweet I put up last night? If, okay. if that is fine, mm -hmm. um, so I didn't put it. Would I put it up on the show this morning? This mm -hmm. is what I said um, last night. I just got home and I was just in my thoughts. I'm like, you know what? It's so funny how the whole world is at a standstill right now. Mm -hmm. And I did say, isn't isn't it ironic that suddenly what used to matter doesn't doesn't anymore? Examples: our jobs, our lifestyle, the class religion, political divide, gender, race, and wealth, none of it counts right now in the face of COVID-19. And at this moment, we're all just humans needing to breathe and leave. Hmm. Nothing else matters right now. Nothing, no. yeah. I mean, there's no class, there's nothing, no political Nothing looks affiliate. serious anymore in the when face you of put it in the face of Corona. We're just all humans trying to breathe and leave. And so I'm just hoping when all of this you know, blows over that we're actually focused on the basic, what really matters in life, that we're all human beings and we just want one thing. Everybody just wants to live, want to breathe, and we should, as much as possible within our capacity, ensure that is what life is all about every day for everybody. Hmm. People just want sure to be able to breathe and leave. Healthcare. Well, I agree to that one, but this one is almost impossible. Everybody's going back to their defaults. Yeah, pretty I feel and, like and, everybody's which, going which back is, to their defaults. Which is pretty sad, this. you know. So, which means like, at the end of the day, I feel like even even in even our space, government still, even our government still, a lot of things still, will not change. People will still expect you to come to the office for things that you can do. That's it. From yeah. your house, mm -hmm. so which means our government that. still will not necessarily put more effort and more money. Imagine, is it I, what they call them? G seven, right? Yeah, the G seven nations. They are having their meeting virtually. But before they would have taken. They Each country's money, flown, budgets to uh, fly, how many class and so their now, team. After but this, you have people will be able to talk and say, you, know, so you don't know. need to travel. You don't need to spend money on that. Mm. It's time for a quick break, but Buari will travel. When we return, we'll have more to discuss. Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child. I decide that every day. <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like Alibaba? Alibaba. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to dollar, everybody feeling all right. I can still make music 
and people are still by. That was how they look myself minimal eye, you. Mm. Apala music is for mature-minded people that got DM sometimes from Malawi, like, what? <laughs> 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 Welcome back. This is still Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. Jeremy Rina's ex is disheartened by his request to reduce child um, support payments for their six year old daughter. According to documents obtained by TMZ, the actor filed states um, the actor um, stated that his financial circumstances have dramatically changed in recent weeks due to coronavirus pandemic. According to the website, um, Rina has been paying um pachiko thirty thousand dollars a month um and that's after tax but believes ava's reasonable needs cost around eleven thousand dollars a month his ex responded in a statement to fox news in which she said she decided to speak out after what she called seven years of hell she said and i quote it is very disheartening that in a time of global crisis there's yet another attempt to reduce funds i rely on to provide for our child the reported monthly income has been greatly exaggerated as i have yet to receive the paperwork he has filed with the court on my birthday she said um I only have knowledge as to what I have read in the tabloids. I think it's time after seven years of hell, I start addressing the lies myself. First, I do not receive $13,000 in monthly child support. Second, all of my savings and Ava savings have been drained due to lawyer's fee as my concerns for Ava's safety have been an ongoing battle for years now. I have and will always choose to protect Ava when I find out about disturbing behavior exhibited by her father at homes that put her in danger. Yeah, I think this is just a case of a custody battle because they've been they've been having a, an ongoing my only custody part battle. I'm interested in the fact that she's disheartened that in the face of global crisis yeah. her income is being reduced. She doesn't understand that his own income it's, is in, reducing in, as in, well. I'm, sorry, also, I'm also disheartened that in the face of this global <laughs> pandemic, Jeremy's income has been affected by by COVID. Isn't that she's not understanding that part? Yeah, you know, so for me, but right? Yeah, is it, I've seen. Affected? Wow, really? really? How is it not affected? affected? Everybody's taking a pay cut. Okay. Yeah, you know, so you know, for me, this is a lose lose situation. Yeah, if they don't reach a compromise right now, mm -hmm. and to think that if it's true, but she's coming to say she's never she's, received yeah, thirty thousand yeah, dollars yeah, exactly. child That's support. Yeah. That. But if Jeremy has the paperwork to prove it that you have been paying so far thirty thousand dollars as child support. I, mean, that's I think she's talking from two sides of the mouth because Ma at the same time, you're you also saying that all your savings and money are, is going into legal fees. So Ooh. are you saying you're not receiving it or you're saying you're using it for legal fees? It, I think what she's I mean, saying is she's receiving money, but it's, it's not, not 30000 30, yeah, dollars Yeah, because that if it's that claiming. amount, the paperwork are there. The pa this is in America, for Christ's sake. Legal papers and uh, paperwork cannot deny itself. If Jeremy has proof of that 30000 payment, um, she doesn't have, she can't defend herself. I don't even know why you she's know, responding when she's yet to even receive the filing. So it. somebody calls you up and says, oh, I saw this, I saw that, and you've not received it officially. Why are you responding? And for a month for a child, because, sorry, are you also including part of your needs in that $30,000? Because I'm only responsible for my child. And $30,000, and he said what the daughter really needs, I mean, it's about $11,000, mm -hmm. which makes a whole lot of sense to me. And so is she crying foul now because she just realized, you know what, I might not be able to to get my own beat out of this any longer if this really does happen. So I this think Nimi has new inside gist that we don't yeah. know. Tell I don't us. have, I don't have us, you inside gist. So tell us about mm. it. Maybe. I don't have inside gist, but from what I read, she is, they don't, they're not on good terms. Mm -hmm. they Clearly. Them, obviously. Mm -hmm. and because she also accused him of the reason why she even started this whole custody battle was because she said that their child was in danger with him mm -hmm. because she accused him of biting behavior. his lifestyle his behavior she even accused him of biting the daughter one time so <sighs> she admits <laughs> so, you know, they have like a lot of issues between them so I don't know who is telling the truth yeah. I don't know who is lying mm -hmm. but I'm just saying that there is something fishy going on yeah. from Jeremy Renner's camp. That's mm. I'm, I'm and, going to put on my side. No, 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 from both sides. No, 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 from both sides. There's something fishy because her statement is contradicted, yep. and it doesn't. For her to even start by saying she's disheartened because in the face of global crisis, your income is reducing. Whose income is not reducing? Jeremy, maybe, Jeremy's maybe because reduced. she knows his net worth. Wow. Uh, I'm just saying. When it comes to net worth, it's not the money. It's not the liquid you have running. No, it's the properties you have. So she wants to go and. Stay in one cash. estate there and be living there. Maybe she should go for this period of time and go and live there. I just feel like there is a lot that's, that's going on that is All not. Right. I hope that they sort it out because um, COVID is going to cause a lot of wahala. 
But moving on. The main reason why most men are single is because the character of the women they want is not in the body shape they admire. This is coming from another Twitter user. We'll give it to you the know, man in the house. Mm, what do you, you know, think? I, I think... Oh, we, 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 be, we should begin to downplay a lot of things. The, 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 women, the women are fault here and the men are fault. You know, I mean, many men at the end of the day get drawn to women with big backside and hips and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. And many women feel, you know, if I don't have that, then men are not going to consider me. So do me, you agree or do you agree? Do I agree with what he said? Yes. Mm -hmm. You know, because at the end of the day, it's so you know, that's, yeah. all. <laughs> that's all. Do I agree with you? Win, but, win. but it's the society we live in. What they made it to society? Hold up, hold up. Personally, mm. I, I don't, I don't give into that. But it's the general consensus. It's really? The, it's the general consensus, right? Because at the end of the day, there's there's a shape to it all, mm. and then to the women, there's there's a bank account to it all, mm. and so it's it's we created this problem, and the earlier we begin to fix it, the better it becomes. Because, so how do we well, begin to fix it? The men should realize that it's it's not about the body. All right. The women should realize that it's not about the bank account. Also, are you ready there is to realize more, that it's not about the body? Yes, Penny? of course. Have yes. you been yes. upset to somebody that is not your desired body shape? Mm -hmm. uh, Severally. Mm. So what did you? Oh, yeah. so what stopped Se you from dating them? I, did I? Did I? Are you asking me if I dated them? Oh, no, oh, ask oh, me if I dated oh, them. Yeah. Okay. Did you date them? Yes, I did. Okay. And they were not your because, desired body shape because it's beyond the body. That's what I'm saying. Mm. It's beyond the body. The body is good if I get a body, but at some point you got to look beyond the body. And that doesn't mean I'm just going to date anything. I'm sorry. All right. Anything yeah, I'm not anybody. just going to date any anybody. Mm. All right. Yes, I have a desired body, but you fall short sometimes, and I'm not going to hint so much on the body. Nobody has it perfect. All right, so um, that is my take on that. Have I did the women that were not necessary within my spec before? Yes. And, and will I still, if I have the opportunity to, if, if, if there are other things I connect with on, on greater levels and values and philosophies? Yes, please. When you say within your spec, what does it mean? Do you mean shape wise or? Mm -hmm. Yeah, shape, okay, wise. shape wise. Sorry, I mean, are, are, you, are, you, are you like. Oh, my, I, I, I my, understand. Well, are you interrogating <laughs> me yet? Do you want to know my spec? Personally, for me, I don't know if this works, if this statement can work for both females and males, because mm -hmm. I found that there are a lot of women who also have spec, mm -hmm. like specs and all of that. You have to have. As a woman, just have, have a fat back account. Really. That is spec. No, That's no. It. To be honest, you know, uh, no. Honest, from what she's so. saying, it works both sides because. I have seen men that have fat back accounts, but when you look at when the look, face and the body, you have to I wake up to their body. Back at you men with to fat see back, back. Men, guy, girl, lady, don't come on this oh table and try to we be We believe you. Right you here, don't want man. us to talk again. Should I'm we close this topic? That, Elsie, in the, in, 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 the, in the light of fat back account mm. and a man with pot belly, and, it's and, not, and it's not, it's I mean, not necessary. Hold on, hold on, hold on. It's not necessary. It's an attraction. Wait, I'm, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going somewhere, okay. right? Okay. This is, this is a fat back account. Mm -hmm. And he has, he's not necessarily, he doesn't make, meet all of the physical features. But mm -hmm. he has, he has the money to, to give you wherever you want. And here's a guy who, you know, is a gym guy, really ripped hats. And he doesn't have so much uh, going on for his bank account. Sorry, please, come on now, ladies, be real here. Who are you going to go for? We keep still searching. <laughs> I will go for who I am time, attracted there's to. There's time. Life is not going to, to kill honest, me yet. <laughs> I don't think that I personally... Wow. I, love, I love the diplomacy. <laughs> there's there's still time in life. No, no, no. So I get what you're saying. I'm, oh, I'm also I'm telling I'm you that I've been in that situation where this person is actually loving and yeah. awesome and the account balance is good. But deep down me, I know that if I go into this I said I want to go into it for a short time. If I go into it for a long term, it's going to it's going to break. It's not going to work yeah, because I will sense. not be happy introducing or even saying, oh, this is my man or waking up. You, do you understand what I'm yes. saying? Mm. So maybe if I want to do short term, yeah, I could try, have fun and all that. But short -term. if you're doing, you if you're thinking long, long term, term, which is marriage <laughs> and my happiness, then yeah. it's not going to work for me. That's what I'm saying. That I think so it's not also about pot belly. There are people that actually carry their pot belly well. Yeah. yeah. And I, to be honest, it's something. not really about pot belly. It's <laughs> about yeah. just like the kind of features. Yes. Personally, for me, sometimes I, I, I can't, I Cannot date Why somebody you who's shorter than I don't know. Me. I can't date someone who's shorter, shorter than, than you. Me. So well, who's shorter than you? I'm just saying. What is your height? Same height. You just, you just, you just I have just never TV. been it's not attracted discrimination to respect. somebody that is joking. shorter than me. I've it's it's immediately. What do you have against short people? Nothing. Okay. I've just never been attracted to someone who's shorter than me. Simple. Wow. So mm -hmm. I think that's just my own. What bias. else? What else don't you get attracted? I don't. Pot belly. You can work on it. For me, every other thing you can work on. What if you refuse to work on it? Ah. Go for bed. Okay. <laughs> we'll be right back after this short break. <laughs> Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still 
end up as a useless child. I the scene every day. <laughs> <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like an Alibaba? Alibaba. Oh, I'm in Africa. We're feeling good. No time to die. Everybody feeling alright. Still buy. Sometimes I look myself minimal are you? Mm. Akpala music is for mature minded people. I got DM sometimes from Malawi like Sleeping early. Sleeping early. Welcome back. Now it's time for our hot topic. This question is pretty simple from our producer. She says, do you think adults um, deserve respect or do you think teenagers deserve respect? I think everybody deserves respect. Mm -hmm. All humans, respect all, is all, respect. Human, all, hum, all humans, beg your pardon, um, yeah. deserve respect. And respect is, um, I it's think, reciprocal, let me see, it's, it's not a function. Maybe we feel, you know, it's a function of achievement. Who maybe your state is a no, status thing? No, in this thing, side, I think you know, it's a function of age. age. In Nigeria, and, and it's sorry, a function of age. Do, do I, yeah, it's a function of age. Mm. Then also, teenagers should be respected because they, primarily every human being, as long as you're human being, you deserve a level respect. respect. Is respect. Yes. You know, it's reciprocal. So I'm, I'm respecting you because I, I think you respect me. And where I sense, you know, that um, you don't really respect me, I don't care what age you are. Uh, I'm going to met out the same disrespect you met out to me. The same way I don't want anybody to disrespect me, I'll try to respect you. And when I'm getting disrespected, um, you're going to have that part of my, my tongue that's not so seasoned at all. Mm. You know, so I feel it is reciprocal. Um, you should respect respect you first so people can respect you. And, and I think you can't you can command, you can't demand for respect. You command it. That what goes on around is people, people, people demand for respect because I'm older than you, respect me. No, you don't demand it. Respect something that should be commanded. It's about how you comport yourself, what you do, how you relate with other people, how you and treat how you also other respect people. other yeah, people. Yeah, and also how you That's treat it. other you people treat is other very people. important. You know, and so, um, yes, both older people, teenagers deserve respect. Elders should respect the younger ones. Younger ones should respect the older ones. It's reciprocal. And so, I want you don't, and don't bring yourself to a place where you be disrespected and I'll be, be demanding well and I'll be Don't demanding let them respect. Well no. <laughs> if, if you bring yourself to disrespect, then you, you will, will get disrespected. Yeah. But I think for, I understand this question because in this part of the world, there's a huge emphasis on respect for older people. So it's more or less like if an older even person Even if they don't says, deserve it. Even mm. if they don't deserve mm. it. If an older and person BS, says this, you know, you don't have any, you can't, you know. If another person says you're stupid, you're supposed you, to. You're supposed to just yeah, accept okay. it. So we, the truth is, we even see that even when it comes to our government, you speak up against probably something that Buari it's, does. It's you see somewhere speech. in that comment, somebody will say, is Buari not old enough to be your father? Will you speak to your father like this? Uh -uh. So it's exactly. not, the respect is not old. Respect this person for what the person is. Respect this person based on the person's age. This person is old enough to be your uh, father. This person is old That's enough to be I your. That's not respect your, as far as I'm concerned. You earn respect, which is what he has which said. Which is what yes. it should be. So so if you do not respect yourself, you will not be respected. Yeah. Respect comes with um, responsibility, understanding your space and how you play and not being... I mean, the level of respect you even get depends on how you respect yourself and how you respect yeah. others. Boundaries so created. Yeah, boundaries created. So if you are supposed to be 70 year old and you're behaving like a child that's supposed to be spoon fed, then you'll be treated like a child that should be yeah. spoon fed. So it's not about um, gray hair. I mean, younger people even have gray hair these days. So I don't know what, what it is that will make you feel... Um, the and definition of respect yeah. should but be then the because truth of is, your age. There are a lot of adults who also don't respect younger people. Yeah, they are. They, because they treat you them just like... Said it. You just said it. The society, society will live in feel, you know what, as an elder, I shouldn't respect you as a younger mm, yes. person. You, and I'm, even I'm their entitled, children. I'm entitled to your they don't respect. respect. Also, they don't respect right their right choices. Lots. They don't respect their opinions. Yes. They don't respect anything. As long as I'm older than you or maybe... Whatever it is that I say Let's even take it home because I gave birth to you. So everything I say... Is correct. You yes. I, people have trained up their children to not be able to question anything. So yes. they also bring that to their, their 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 work environment, their personal space. They cannot question anything. So your boss tells you take this cup to that place. You get there, you see that that place is going to burn if you drop that cup. There, you see, drop it you there drop it. because all you understand is go. You go. live by instruction. You cannot question anything. Your learning ability is dead. Your 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 analyst your analytic ability is not even functional. So. Mm -hmm. 
I think we need to get yeah. past that. I'm glad that you, that's not what respect is. Yeah, I'm glad that you even brought it to parenting because a lot of the things that we are used to, a lot of the things that we have grown up with are things that we learned from home, some of the things that we imbibed from home. When you look at a lot of family structures, this respect thing, especially in the Yoruba culture, it is very ingrained in our mm. culture. So basically, you are just told to respect anybody that comes your way simply because they're older than you. Respect your uncle because even if the person insults <coughs> you or says something to you, you want to respond basically, to, um, basically they'll tell you to respect, respect out of context. Context. So yeah, yeah. that you has know, just yeah, been thank it. You. you know, there's something I'm, I'm, I'm teaching my kids currently. Um, you know, all this thing we do that somebody comes to VC and say, um, say hi to Uncle D, say hi to Auntie Dad. I'm like, no, 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 no. They're not your uncles, they're not your aunties. This is meet Mr. You know, because I say this because, again, most of the abuse that goes on within families stem from this funny thing called respect. Mm. Parents verbally, emotionally, psychologically abuse, abuse their, their kids children. You're not supposed to in the name of it. respect. Because I give back to you, you should respect me. Whatever I say is right. Whatever I do is right. No, you don't have the right to subject any child to forceful respect when what you're doing to them is actually mentally, yeah. physically, psychologically abusing Abusive. that child. And so the earlier we separate what really we call respect in this side because our social cultural traditions are so are so twisted. And which is why we're where we are right now because yes, people grew up not understanding here, that yeah. they can question institutions, they can question rules, they Thank can you. question policies. Thank you very policies. much. That's the word. You, so yeah. if you just come out Whatever and say happens, goes. this is what is supposed to happen with our power, everybody says, okay, yes. we're not like zombie and, and then so, we are going to have so, so, so yes. And so a child is very assertive, you know, and very bold to, to, to the elderly. He's so rude he's because rude. he's asking me questions. Yes. He's looking me in the eye. Somebody actually had a problem with <laughs> the child. Eye, looking no, them. Exactly. Exactly. Somebody had a problem with the child looking, talking to them, looking in the eye like, wow, you must have been mm -hmm. raised wrongly. Oh, wow. No, that child they want, is just They want to confident. raise people who are timid, people who are afraid, people who are submissive, people who submit to, you know, authority and all that. Okay, so I think we need to redefine what respect is yes. for our culture. Because I, I understand what it is, but based on culture and how we're brought up, we that's have gotten it all wrong, so we need to redefine that. And that's how we wrap up this episode of Tea Time. Thank you so much for watching. And remember, you can watch this conversation all over again by visiting and subscribing to our YouTube channel, at Plus TV Africa. You can also watch Tea Time on R2 TV and in London on Ben Television. My thank you as always to go to my co-anchors, Benny Ak and Nimi Dekombi and the entire production team. Thank you for watching Plus TV Africa's Tea Time. My name is Elsie Godwin. Please do stay safe.